Alrighty, are you ready for this one? Alright, crumbed lamb chops. Mate. Now the reason I love I love them is because no matter how long you're cooking for, they are soft and juicy. Crumbing your lamb chops just turned into something else. They are so good. So I'm just going to show you the way I do it quickly, alright? So the first thing I do is get a big enough bowl that you're going to be able to fit your chop in to dip them in, alright? Four eggs and roughly half a cup of milk. Mm. Alright, blend it all in with a fork and put it aside for a minute. Now for me lamb chops, I always use my homemade ones, um, the ones I cook in the oven. So if you've never made homemade breadcrumbs before, I've got a little video on there way back when somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I like using the cooked ones for this. Okay, so the best thing to do is get yourself an oven tray. Because like, how many times have we done the breadcrumbs on the plate and they go absolutely freaking everywhere? So, <laughs> I worked out if you just do it in an oven tray, um, there's no mess. Alright, so get out, I'll get out a heap to start with. Now when it comes to your lamb chops, I just crumb them exactly how they are. The whole lot, every little bit of it, I just crumb away. Now if you want to be all fancy in that, you can cut this bit off. But it's just, I don't know, it helps in the cooking process. And, um... It's, it's just yummy. So, yeah, either way, either cut them off and make them all neat or just crumb them whole. So, what I love to do, make sure you've got a plate ready. That way you don't have to have gross hands on everything to put them straight on when you've done them. I'll just do it with one. All right, make sure you can see. So we can... Alright, so you dip it in the egg, egg and milk mix, dip it in good. I usually cover it in them first so I can press down hard. Turn it over, same thing, put it all over the top, press down hard. Alright, lift it out. Now here's the way you make them absolutely amazing. Spread it all out even again, double do it. Back in the egg mix, both sides, real quick on the second time. Straight in, over the top, press them down. Double crumbs, mate! Yeah, with the cooked ones, you can you can use your um, store-bought ones, there's no big deal at all with it. But, um, see, most people will put lots of salt and pepper in this and ain't. Oh, look, if you're doing the homemade ones, you don't need anything. That's the great thing about it. So once you've done them real good, press it in nice and hard. And it's a great way to use all the bread up out of your freezer. Alright, shake it off a little bit, put it on a plate. Now I'm going to do all four of them. Once you've finished doing them, you want to wrap them in glad wrap and you want to put them in the fridge for an hour just so it sets the crumbs so they don't all fall off, they stay on there and they're really good. And then while you well, you've got that hour while they're in the fridge. That's when you get your spuds ready. Because I love doing mine with mash, veg, and gravy. But they're also really yummy with chips and egg on top. Um, you can just you can have them any way you want. With salad, they're beautiful with salad as well. They're great. With whatever you've got in the house, they're awesome with it. So, yeah, I'm going to chuck them in the fridge for an hour, and then we'll cook them. Now, there's a little trick to cooking crumb chops, all right? So, basically, they take a lot longer to cook than a normal chop would. Um, now, if you cook them too fast, you're going to have your breadcrumbs all crunchy and ready and your chop's going to be raw in the middle. So, the normal rule I do is that you put your frying pan, electric oven, whatever you got on, um, just over halfway, okay, whatever your dials are, go just over halfway. This will be hot enough to, we can cook them for a couple of minutes and crunch it up just a little bit and then you turn it down to halfway for the rest of the time. So you want it cooking but you don't want it cooking hard enough that it's going to burn your crumbs. Now I'm using olive oil as I always do but use whatever oil you want. Now you want to coat the bottom of the pan. You have to coat the whole bottom with a nice thin layer over it. Okay, and what you've got to make sure it's hot enough first, that's the most important thing. Once you've crunched them up a little bit, you can turn it down, it'll be beautiful. Basically, it's at least 15 minutes one side and 15 minutes the other side, and they'll come out perfect. I don't know why, 
but as long as you're not cooking them hardcore, um, you, you just can't overcook them, it's awesome. So you're better off having them for a bit longer if you're not sure. Oh, chops in. And they, they make a really great filling meal too. It definitely turns just a normal chop into something. I mean, look at the size of them. Into something really cool. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so after 15 minutes, when you go to turn them over, you want to turn it up just a little bit again. Lift one up, put a little bit of oil under it and turn it over. Do that with all of them. Leave it up like this for a couple more minutes and turn it back down to halfway and um, cook it out for the rest of the 15 minutes. So I would usually put my spuds in that, they've just started boiling. So when your spuds and that just start to boil, that's when you put, should chuck these in because pretty much they'll both be ready the exact same time. Oh yum! Oh, there we have it my friends. What an awesome hearty meal. I'll tell you what, double crumbing them like that, you do need a lot of breadcrumbs, but they just make them so filling. It's awesome for your whole family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with dessert. Bye.